Why do some people, since the very moment of gaining awareness, already have a high degree of freedom from the classic egregors compared to other people, while for others, to reach the same feeling of freedom, a lifetime would not be enough? This is a matter of debt, colleague. Our debts. We don't always manage to accumulate them within our present lifetime. Sometimes we merely carry them over from our previous incarnations. Sometimes we inherit debts through our bloodline as a type of a negative heritage. Therefore, such burdens sometimes allow or don't allow us to get away from an egregor quickly and fully. Most commonly, such heavy burden is created by religious egregors, although sometimes elemental egregors do the same. Everything depends on the level of your existential volume and on the amount of debt you carried over from the past. All of this, unfortunately, is very individual and we are not provided with such a formula, nor are we born with it. We have to figure it all out on our own. But if a person is very observative and has a well-developed memory, remembers his childhood well, remembers properly his relatives, and is also able to analyze their lives and his own life, is able to add two and two and never get five but rather the expected result, then by a certain age he comes to some type of understanding in the form of a finite algorithm. He understands that certain events occur in his life due to this and that in this particular aspect of his life, that in this part of the social world he's doing well, whereas in this other part he isn't, that this type of success he inherited from his mother, and this type of success from his father, while his misfortune was for example inherited from the grandmother, whereas this here is his own, personally acquired or carried over from his previous incarnations. And when all these things come together, a specific formula of one's own karma forms, an understanding of what you can't do and shouldn't want to do, and where on the contrary you can change things and achieve great personal success, or where you should work on developing your skill or fulfilling your desires in slightly different ways and not the social ones working on increasing your existential volume, creating new possibilities and maybe even bypassing certain obstacles. This is what is called being independent from the egregors. When you achieve your results not by following the methods and rules dictated by the egregorial system in the form of laws, requirements, traditions and indisputable rules of conduct, but rather in a variety of ways that will not evoke the wrath of the master, simply because you don't have one. This is what freedom is about. If you don't possess such a type of freedom, then of course it won't even cross your mind that the desired result may be achieved differently, and this without violating anything nor creating additional negative karma for breaking one's made commitments. You need to analyze your own capabilities and inabilities. And analysis is only available to the free thinkers, and the free thinkers are those without the stigma of a slave.